Hello everyone, welcome back. It's me, Angela. Good to see you again today. It's Tuesday, so of course time for another little project. I hope that you're inspired and ready to spend just a short time along with me today. Thank you for doing that because I do really appreciate the time that you take out to spend watching my videos. It really means the world to me. Now, I've been watching a couple of people recently and a lot of people have been doing pouches and things um i was inspired by the pouch idea but i wanted to make it more of a wallet idea so a long time ago i did a bit of a um version of what i'm going to do today but much bigger and i thought i would change that up and zhuzh it up a bit so it looked more like a, a sort of a purse or wallet size item today for our journals you are going to not need much all i'm using to do this is two sheets of paper um i've then got a couple of goodies here so you need something some sewing thread i'm using embroidery thread you need a, a length of ribbon this is about just about over half a meter i've got a couple of die cuts uh, two little paper flowers I've sewn together with a little button from my buttons. Um, I'm going to, uh, I've cut out a three quarters of an inch circle. I've cut three of them and stuck them together with scrap paper. Um, and I'm going to sew a button on the top of that. So you, that's what the thread's for. So you need a button. If you don't have a button, you can use brads. And that's why I put that there. And I'm using this little sentiment as well. So that's what I'm going to use to make this. As far as tools are concerned, it's the usual tools. You need a bone folder. I have actually uh, grabbed my pokey tool. Um, and I am going to use my corner punch. If you don't have a corner punch, um, you know, as I always say to you, grab something that's got a rounded corner like the edge of your Distress ink and cut yourself a template and use that. All right, and then just your scissors. So that's what I encourage you. You'll need your glue, obviously, and, and, and possibly a pair of scissors. But other than that, it's just the standard stuff, really. Nothing special. All right, let's get started. Now, what I want to do is I have, with this piece of paper, these all come from my Book Lovers um, Bliss journal kit. I have taken the sort of reddish burgundy stripes. Um, I have printed this double-sided. So you can take, mine is 180 GSM. You can take two copy papers if you don't um, print double-sided. You can take two sheets of copier paper, which is half this thickness. And stick them together if that works for you or cut out other bits and stick it on the back whatever you want but I'm going to just take one of these sheets here all right everyone so the first thing you want to do is you want to fold this in half not lengthways widthways so we're just going to do that yeah use your bone folder and then what we want to do is we want to take this piece of paper. Now, I'm using an A4, but it doesn't matter if you're going to use a US letter. Uh, the cover and the base will work um, together because it's the same size paper. Now, what I want you to do is I'm just using my board here. This is just a guesstimate. I want to take about uh, two and a half inches, more or less. And I want to just fold that into the middle like that. Take your bone folder, run that all the way down, turn it around, and we want to just lap that over. So just. So um, you want to go like a quarter of an inch over there, maybe slightly more like that. Yeah. Line up your fold line here in the middle. Okay. Go. And then you want to just... Get that nice and burnished all right now we've got all the fold lines done and we have this halfway mark here now what i'm doing is you can take your scissors i'm using my bone folder my bone folder i'm using my um little craft knife but you can use your scissors i'm going to cut on that fold line straight through all right so i've got two halves now what i want to do now is i want to fold this one um in half again like this we're not going to cut this but we are lining it up make sure you line it up with the top yeah like that okay and then you want to do the same with this piece just line it up with the top like that 
Okie dokie. Right. Take that off the way. Right, now what you've got is, and why I did that like that, is so that the fold lines are the same for both. Um, I'm going to take my glue. So I'm just using my Fabri-Tac, my lovely pearls. Right, um, I'm going to just run a little bead of glue just along the top here. Like that. There we go. Close that up. There we go. Right, let that dry. Take the other one. Fold that flap in and that flap in. You've got your fold line there. And then again, where this is going to overlap. So I'm just thinking which one I want where. I'm going to do it that side. It makes no difference, really. Um, you want to just get that bit of glue stuck down there. Okay, so you've got two sort of tubes now. And the reason I've done it with printed paper, I was going to do it with envelopes, but uh, I've done that before. Um, but this way you don't have to cover anything. So, you know, you can use envelopes, you can use plain paper, you can use whatever you have. Right, so what you want to do now is you've got the seam here. Now with this one, um, let's take one that's dry. With a seam that you've just glued, fold that back carefully or over the fold line like that. Yeah and just press it nice and flat so you've got the seam on the outside for this one okay and then just give it a nice burnish with your bone folder okay and with this one i'm going to put the seam on the underside so i'm going to fold it up like that it doesn't actually really matter but as long as you get it all nice and folded right so you've got a bit like that and a bit like that i'm going to take this bit more well, doesn't matter which one and i'm going to put that into that bit there now you can either take your sewing machine or glue and glue these two together now i'm going to probably just take the glue right so get them nicely together mash them up by pushing your thumbs into this into the fold lines there like that and i think i'm going to grab this little clip here just to keep it where i want it it's nicely lined up so make sure those edges are matching and then if you're going to glue put some glue into this bit here and be fairly generous i normally stitch this okay there we go. Now, we'll leave that there for the moment. Right. Um, let's just put that to the side for the moment. We'll come back to that in a sec. Now, with this piece here, um, it's just one-sided printing, and that's absolutely fine. The first thing we want to do is fold it in half lengthwise with this one. So just match those edges up nicely really nicely and then just flatten it use your bone folder make nice firm corners and then i've just got my glue stick i'm going to stick these two together it's going to give us a nice firm base so there we go just like that you can use any paper that you have even book paper you know so not hard as long as the two pieces of paper are the same size the principles are going to work out perfectly okay because the one you're folding lengthways the other one you're folding widthways right so we've got that nice and um, glued down now what i would suggest is i measured eight and a half inches for mine which is fine for any size paper i'm going to cut off naught from the base to the top eight and a half so i'm just going to go like that it's easy on this board just like that right keep that we'll find a use right there we go and then this is the point where i'm going to take my corner rounders and just round off those corners like that and then you want to um just distress ink it now i'm not going to do it for the whole thing here because i have done a step with another one this was just to show you 
how to go about it. Um, we're going to do a bit of folding now. So give that a good distress ink on the edges. Right, now what I want you to do is take your bone folder and your ruler. And the first fold I want to do is the one that's going to be three and a quarter inches so three and a quarter from the edge here three and a quarter i think is 8.2 centimeters all right so let's get this here and then we want to go three and a quarter like that there are the i think that's about it i'm gonna make just a little notch there make sure i have got it right and uh, i want it straight so this is how i'm going to ensure it is straight all right, and then when I hold that there, there we go, that's three and a quarter. So now we've got it like this and like this. Then at the seven inch mark from the start, so seven inches is, I wrote it down, eight, just sh short of 18, I think 17.8 centimeters there or thereabouts. Um, I'm going to just take my ruler again and I'm going to again just make sure that I've got this straight gosh I think it's there I'm going to just go straight across there all right so that's three and a quarter this is seven inch mark okay and then I'm going to just take um, a quarter of an inch away not a quarter of an inch really an eighth of an inch so i think it'd be easy if i turn this around so yeah i'm just gauging this i'm not even measuring it so about an eighth of an inch i'm just making another fold line just so that we've got two fold lines and i'm going to just take my ruler and i'm going to just do that and with this one there so that i've got a bit of a, a ridge there so it's got a bit of a like a it should make a bit of a square bit there. All right. Now, at this point, before I do anything further with this, this is an optional choice. You can go and stitch around the edge here, and I have done that. All right, so you've got this. You've got a bit of a flap like that. All right. Whether you do or you don't stitch around it really is personal preference, and I have done mine. So I'm going to just put that one to the side. And I have done mine over here like that. Now, what I want to do now, you can see I've just stitched around the edge there like that. And if you've got anything that's a bit, looks like it's full of holes, just run your bone folder over it. It will flatten those holes and you won't have a, what could be quite, not as pretty, let's say, <laughs> on the underside. This works a treat. Okay. So we've got the base there. Okie dokes. Now I'm going to take my button and my little circle that I, I talked about earlier, this three quarters of an inch. I'm going to grab my button. This is from the buttons that I did with my uh, complete button, uh, complete book lovers bliss. I'm going to just find the middle bit there. Um, pretty much there and I'm going to just put a hole with my pokey tool through there all right now I'm just going to take my thread this I use three three threads of embroidery thread I'm going to I was going to make a knot but I'm not going to this time I'm going to just make it a bit longer I've got a needle this and a button now one of my listeners um one of my followers on my channel talked about their mum who, and it was a great tip, so thank you so much, used a matchstick for, for, for sewing on buttons, which is a great idea. Um, but I don't have any matches, so I'm using a needle, <laughs> a darning needle. So I'm just going to, I've, th I've threaded it up and over, so it is in place. I'm now going to take my needle and put it through the middle of those two strings there like that because it's easier to hold it once you do one loop and then I'm going to just pull it tight that's going to give me that little gap um, just to be able to use this as a closure all right so it's also a lovely way instead of using a brad 
um, and I love using buttons as closures. I love buttons. So there we go. I've done that at sewing a few times like that. And now when we want to thread our closure ribbon around there, we've got the space underneath. And then I'm going to just tie these two um, together, not too tight, just so that they're not going to come undone. We're going to glue it, but ultimately. All right, and then you can just, so thank you so much for that wonderful tip. Um, I, I did like it. Just I think it's a great idea and really handy. And I love all the tips you guys give me. Right, so we've got that there. We've got this, and you can see it's a bit looser now, but it's going to give us that give underneath there that we need. So we've got that ready. We're going to stick that on ultimately. Um, what I'm going to do with the ribbon is, and as I said, it's about half a meter. This is um, about six mil. I'm going to just loop this back like this a bit. So we've got a nice, neat edge. I do it a bit more like that. And I'm going to end up sewing, not sewing, but sticking that on there. All right. So that's what we're going to do. All right. So we've got the middle of our little flap here. And this is where I'm going to stick this down. So I'm just going to draw a little circle here as a gauge so I know where to put my ribbon. Now I'm going to just, as I said, just give that a bit of a loop. So let's stick that on first. So we'll go with the, the, the underneath bit first. So I'm going to put some quite a load of glue on here. So we've got some glue there. And then I'm going to stick it that way, first of all. And then I'm going to put some glue on top. And I'm going to do this now so that it's got plenty time to dry. And then we want to just... Now, you don't have to do it both ways. This is just me wanting a neat edge. All right. So <laughs> let me just think, am I doing this right? Yes, because I'm going to go right round. Okay. Um, and then we can actually run this right round if you want. So I'm just going to, this is just going to help fasten it, I think. That's why I'm doing this. And you never know if you want to stick this down somewhere or if you want to just have it as it is. But either way, the ribbon's beautiful, so it'll look lovely. My, it'll just help secure it. Um, so we've got that. I'm not going to do any further gluing other than that. And then I'm going to take this and glue that on the top there. So just something a little bit different for me. I'm not saying this is a, a unique idea at all, but um, it's come into my head for the first time. So there you go. All right. So what I'm going to do with that is I'm going to grab my little clips. And this is why clips are amazing. I'm going to just grab one of these. And I'm going to just get that to go over there like that. And that's just going to keep that in place while it's doing its thing. All right. So we've got our closure ready to go. And then that will close it up. Now, what I'm going to just put that to the side for the moment. What I want to do now is go back to these. Um, and you can ink them up. So I'm going to ink these up quickly. Not going to worry too much about... Um, every little bit but and I might just go and put a little thumb notch in here I think that would be good so I will have to go back and do that but yeah I'm just gonna get that like that all right so while it's still lying flat I thought this would be a good time just to do a thumb notch at the top here so I've got my one and a half inch circle but any circle punch that you have or any shape that you you can use. I'm going to just um, take that out and then I'm going to move up one of these. Let's see, will it go all the way? Yeah, I'm not going to push them together. I'm going to draw the circle. There we go. Um, and then I'm going to do the same here 
then that should be about right. Okay. Got bits everywhere. <laughs> right, now we can go and push these back together. So let's try and um, maneuver this in place and this one here. So we want to just get these lined up again like that and then get your bone folder. Right, now we've got those pretty lined up there. We want to take your um, glue. Now, this one here on the outside had the seam on, which is fine. I, I want to take this and I want to stick it, this, onto this one here. All right, so I want to just take the, the outer edge of this and I'm going to just glue it to this bit over here. So let's just get that straight. So bear in mind the fold line. Okay. So you'll see, because you've overlapped that piece, you've got a um, slight little edge on each side, which is perfect. Just make sure that you get this straight. <laughs> and I'm pulling. This glue is like concrete. Right, so we've got that bit there. Now you want to get this bit stuck down on the back here. All right, so we'll do that. And that's why I've put the seams on the outside so that you won't really see. Well, I mean, you will see the seams, but there's no getting away from that. But I thought if I put the seam there, it might just, you know. Right, so I'm going to just stick that down there. So that should stick pretty well. So it's coming together looking like a lovely little purse. Okay, and then all that needs to be done is we need to put a little strip of glue. Um, you can use glue or you can use um, double-sided tape. You know, I'm going to just use the glue and I'm going to just stick it down the middle here. So I'm just going to put a sort of quarter inch wide bit of glue like that. And I'm going to press it like that. And then I'm going to do the same here. Press that like that. And then this bit here in the middle. And then we're going to stick that one together like that. All right. It's my, birth my daughter's birthday today. And we've had the loveliest day today out. So it's just great to come and sit here now and relax a little bit and do this project with you so happy birthday Paigey if you're listening she's not a teenager anymore that was my baby and she's now all grown up and 20 so wow quite a new milestone for me as a mum as well but we had the best day today so yeah love my kids right so there we've got that all going on I'm going to leave that closed again for the moment I'm looking for another little clip this one will do I'm just going to put that there and just put another little clip on the front. We're almost done. Just got a few decorations. You know, I can't help myself. So we've got that there. It's looking like a right little purse. I'm, I'm loving it. Right. Um, now I've just got these two little bits of two die cuts. This is just a piece of um, old book page. This is just a bit of lavender. I'm going to stick these on here. So we'll do that ever so quickly. Yesterday, I must say, um, was a glorious day here in the UK. Um, I managed to hang my laundry out on the wash line for the first time this year. That definitely told me that spring is on its way, although it feels a little bit nippier today. Um, it was wonderful. The sun was just pouring in and you know there's you know, we talked about book sniffing the other day i must just tell you that the uh, next to book sniffing i love the smell of air dried laundry and i tell you it was just amazing i got the washing out early and it dried beautifully outside and smelt delicious honestly it makes gave me such a, a happy feeling because i mean i know that's sad but you know, there's nothing like um, 
the better weather coming, isn't there, to lift our spirits. So, yeah, I think spring's on its way. I'm happy to report. Okay, I've got this little tiny one, which is just a random little one. I don't know, even know where I got this little die. Um, and I want to just grab my little, just one more chapter. Don't you tell yourself that all the time when I'm reading. I think, oh, just one more. I want to go to sleep, but it's so engrossing. I can't stop. I'm sure you have that too. Right, I want to put this just over here. I'm going to put this over there. That's why I wanted it, so I knew where to put that. Give that a bit, a bit of a inking there. Just one more chapter. Gosh, I'll do that. At the moment, though, I'm stuck on the same chapter because I've had my audio book on. Um, when I go to sleep, I put it on for um, usually like 15 minutes, sometimes 30 minutes. Depends how tired I am. And um, I keep falling asleep, so I keep going over the same chapter again and again. Oh, right, my little um, flower. I'm going to stick that on over there. I think that just finishes it off. What a beautiful little purse. Now, what can we use this for? You might be saying, well, you know, you could store so many things in your journal for when you journal. So like sentiments, little scrappy bits of paper or bits and pieces of, you know, um, ribbon or anything that you like to add ephemera pieces when you are actually journaling and you're looking for bits to add to the page because I found when I journal I'm always looking for bits to add so this is going to be one of those that you can just pull out those little bits and pieces of course it's a gorgeous little gift and would make a wonderful happy mail too it's not very um, fat at all right the moment of truth let's have a look there we have our little purse look at that four compartments Part, uh, could fit your credit cards in there <laughs> all right so we've got our four little compartments there um and our little lid it's got that little section there where we've got a little square lid um and that's going to fold down and you can go around and around if you want let's see like that um you've got this loose bit i'm just thinking do i want to do it more than once yes um and I can then round my ribbon or string. You can use string as well and just get that around there. When the ribbon, the button's now a lot looser, you know, putting the needle underneath. So there we go. And I can trim that off. I think that's more than enough. So I'll use that little bit for a little tag. Okay. How sweet was that? Pretty. Yeah. So we can just open that up we can take in a couple of our goodies so if you're wanting a few ephemera bits so i've got grabbed a few here from the kit from my ephemera kit you know those could look make great tuck spots or additions to our um, pages if you wanted to add a couple of your little sentiments or any little scrappy bits you can put your sentiments in there you know if you're wanting to add little scrappy bits you could put those in there you've got plenty plenty space in here you've got four little areas that you can put things in and then we just close it up like that go around again and then just wrap your ribbon around there and there you have it that's our little project for today. And look, it's not very fat at all. That would make an easy, easy, beautiful little happy mail and warm somebody's heart. I quite like those. I think I might put um, little sentiments to, you know, uplifting quotes. And I've got those sweet sentiments that I did long ago that are very uplifting, that are great to add to something like that. There we go. All right, everyone, go and have a fun day. Go make one of these. You can do use any paper that you have, any kind of cardstock, even those papers um, from your 12 by 12s or any of the paper that you don't use, scrappy bits um, or anything like that. Go and put this together. You're going to love it and really simple. Two sheets of paper and there you have it. All right, everyone, have a fabulous day. Um, I will see you again on Friday. We will be doing another little um, project. Um, for those of you who are still waiting on Royal Mail, I did manage to get hold of them on Friday 
And they have told me that, um, you know, because I've provided tracking numbers for all the orders, and um, we still have places where um, the sorting centers here are sitting on stuff post for seven to ten days um and they sent me an email about it because i rang them up about it because i'm just fed up with them now um they have promised me that they will be um sorted and up to date and up to speed by the end of february which is in a week so if you were still waiting on anything and you keep seeing oh it's still at the sorting office hang tight they um are getting on top of it apparently I think after me phoning there so much, eventually um, somebody I, f I spoke to could give me a straight answer. It's not normally like that, so I can only apologise and really appreciate your patience and understanding, and I really can't say that enough. All right, everyone, um, let's speak again on Friday. We'll have a lovely little project. Don't forget to follow along. This is uh, only a week left for the lovely uh, Rachel and Bella's collaboration, which was the junk journal tips, tricks and hacks. Go and follow along um, and I'll see you guys on Friday. Stay safe now. Bye bye. <music>